Hi and welcome to lesson 4 of course 3 of DMAD's free series on QGIS. Um, and what we're going to be doing today is we're just going to be def refining uh, what we've looked at the last couple of lessons uh, and we're going to be using the raster calculator again. So what we've got in the last lesson was all of the slopes which were between 10 degrees and 20 degrees and we also have all of the slopes which are south facing and last time we converted our raster to a polygon and then we clipped one of the polygons by the other in order to get our potential habitat um, this would take forever with a file like this um, purely because it's just such a huge uh, well such a complicated raster if we zoom in to just a random area we can see just how much is going on and in order to turn this into polygons it would take forever and the clip would take forever but luckily we can use the raster calculator in order to do this for us as well so what we're going to do is we are going to select our slope and we're going to select south facing and just build the expression so basically we want to select everywhere where the south facing equals one and where our slope equals one because this is what this these were the areas that uh, fulfilled our um, assumptions so we build our expression exactly the same way in order to combine the two rasters so I've just called it assumptions met in the example uh, I've clicked yes and OK and this will make us a new raster here um, and you can see from this raster that it's still really quite messy um, and if we were doing this as we said to sort of design an experiment we wouldn't want to be going to these little tiny dots here so what we can do is to simplify our raster um, and so in the second part of the lesson we're just going to look at simplifying the raster um, and in order to simplify the raster we use a tool in QGIS called the sieve um, and we'll need to get the processing toolbox up for this so go to processing and toolbox if you haven't already got it up and then go come down to you find GDAL go into raster analysis and then sieve um, we're going to be using the input layer assumptions met uh, and we're going to use a threshold of 8 and use 8 correctedness um, and if I'm completely honest I I don't know why we use these values um, they're values which are set out by QGIS in, in their user guide uh, for, for sieving so that's, the, that's why I use the value 8 um, and I'm just gonna save this so this is going to be called assumptions met sieved and then hit run and what we see is actually the entire area is come up as white and if you look over in our layer you see that the way that it's processed our data means that we have this incredibly small number which is the black number um, so if we go to properties we can maybe explain it a little better and go to information we can see that if we go to our band one statistics and look at our minimum we have this minimum value of minus uh, two well minus two, two, 21 million something like that 214 million perhaps um, and a statistics maximum of one and actually all we care about is uh, our statistics maximum of one and everything else is void so what we can do is use the raster calculator once again in order to sort this out so I'm going to go to raster raster calculator and I'm just going to copy and paste this expression so you don't have to see me type it out um, and in this uh, raster we're just going to I've changed my file name since I did it last we're just going to go to use the assumptions met sieved and we're saying that anything that is equal to or less than zero 
in this data set should be given the value 0. Okay, and now I'm going to just call this output simplified model because it's just our simplified model and hit OK. And you can see now we have this nice simplified version of what we were looking at before. So I'll change that just to make it transparent like last time. Um, oh yeah, if we go to the information you can now see that our um, minimum is zero and our maximum is one. So that's great. Uh, I'll change it to pseudo-man color again just to make it easy for you to see. Take the classes down to two. And we're going to set this transparent again. Um, OK, and then we just hit apply and OK. And the reason I've done this is just so that you can see all the bits of white which were on our previous unsieved um, raster model. Um, and you can see we've got just, it's just removed all of this sort of noise, all of these absolutely tiny areas uh, which we see on our model. So now we've got, I'll turn this slope off and the south facing off and these are our final areas. So you can see that's probably a, a much easier and quicker way of uh, combining our rasters and also simplifying these rasters. Okay that's it for today um, and I'll see you in the next lesson.